And a man accused of driving drunk with kids in the car, and not just once, he has another day in court. In fact, authorities say it has happened seven times. A Janesville man was in court today charged with drinking and driving for the 11th time. News 3's Valina Jones was in court as well and has the latest for us tonight. Valina. Yeah, Eric and Michelle Bradley Skelly was last convicted of drinking and driving back in 2004. Now, 10 years later, his repeated offenses are raising concerns among law enforcement. This is the type of crime that is a threat to all of us. Despite 10 prior OWI convictions, 48-year-old Bradley Skelly was back in court today facing his 11th drunken driving charge. Cars is operating while intoxicated. Janesville Police Chief David Moore says while the number of offenses is shocking, this is not an isolated incident. We see that more than our share of OWI incidents in Wisconsin, we're, we're known nationwide for our alcohol consumption and also well known for driving while um, under the influence. So it's it's really a culture um, issue with this state and it's something we need to change. Skelly was driving with his 14 year old son in the car when he was arrested. His seventh OWI arrest with a minor in the car. Despite his prior convictions, five years in prison and three years without a license, he was driving with a valid driver's license in the recent case. It's because of cases like this, Janesville PD implemented Project Sober Streets, mapping out repeat drunken driving offenders to bring awareness to the community. There's also a public shaming um, issue to it as well. Uh, the science on this shows that uh, OWI, this is one of the few offenses where public shaming really is effective. Skelly now faces a minimum of eight years in prison. He's being held on a $10,000 cash bond, but more fears if he's released, he could endanger the community. From today until that uh, court hearing or that conviction, uh, we have little assurance of safety to the community. Currently, there's no state law in place that would revoke someone's driver's license permanently. Scully is scheduled to be back in court November 14th. All right. Thank you, Valena.